In this video, we'll be proving that Leibniz equality implies Cox equality. Let's start by looking at the goal we want to prove. It says for every type x and every two elements x and y of that type, if x and y are Leibniz equal, in other words, if y has all the properties x has, or again, if y satisfies every predicate satisfied by x, then x must be equal to y. To prove this, we'll start by introducing the type x and the two elements x and y, and the assumption a that x and y are Leibniz equal. Let's take a closer look at this assumption a. It says, for every predicate p, in other words, for every function p from x to prop, if px, then py. Now to use this, we need to choose some helpful predicate p. In order to choose the p, let's look at what we want to prove x equals y. We need to choose the predicate p so that py will be x equals y. We can represent x equals y as lambda y x equals y applied to y, simply by abstracting out the y. Now, if we look at this, we clearly see the p we need, lambda y x equals y. At this point, it's not important that the bound variable is named y, so let's change it to z. So the predicate we want to use is lambda z x equals z. Let's look at the type of a applied to this predicate. The type is lambda z x equals z applied to x implies lambda z x equals z applied to y. There are two beta redices in this type. Let's look at the second one first. We can reduce this beta redux simply by substituting the y for the z. And of course, we get x equals y. That's the whole reason we chose this p. Now, if we reduce the first beta redux, we substitute the x for the z. And it simplifies to be x equals x. Now, since the type of this is something implies x equals y, and we want to prove x equals y, we can use the cock apply tactic to reduce the claim to being x equals x. And of course, x equals x is easily proven by reflexivity. And now we're done. So what was the fundamental idea of this proof? It was applying the assumption A to the property of being x.